YouTube. So I know it's been a long time since I've vlogged, but that's because I don't find this the most comfortable process in the world. And really vlog every day in April was a good thing for me because it meant that I could do it casually. Well, this is sort of taking weeks of thought, which isn't true planning, but I have actually thought about it and then I'm doing it and I'm sure all one to two of my viewers are nice people. So today I'm going to be talking about age. Well, this isn't going to be an, oh my god, I missed the 90s, or an, oh my god, I'm getting so old, or any of those. It's not going to be particularly sentimental. It's just I've done a lot in the past month and I needed to clump it somehow. So I went to France and as we were touring these villages and we saw these houses that are just hundreds and hundreds of years old, like older than the United States of America. These villages were built into these rocks, not for because of their ease of living, but because of their ease in not dying. It's not good for trade, it's not good for any of those things we associate with life or the founding of civilization. The reason why they're built into the sides of these cliffs are the other villages would attack them. There were Protestant villages that would attack Catholics, villages that allowed Ca Protestants and Jews to exist could be attacked just for that. The popes had this power issue with the kings, and there were papal villages, and so sometimes the king would attack those. Traveling through one of these villages, it's very small, a car barely fits. I hear that there's no bakery, and that seems strange to me because it's a town without bread then, and it's France, and I really like bread. If you've learned one thing from these vlogs, it might be that. I was thinking about how we got from a time to when if a village didn't have bread, it was because of weather, or because another village attacked it, or there was a famine, or locusts, or people made their own bread, so if there wasn't a bakery, it wouldn't be that serious. But now there's a town virtually with a limited supply of bread, not because they can't get bread, but because somehow people weren't able to support a bakery because it was so removed. And the fact that that's now the biggest inconvenience is great, but also that's still a big staple of food. And living in these rocks, it's still cute, beautiful, and idyllic, but they weren't created to be towns with bread. They were created to be defensible and just the idea of visiting something so easily that was meant to be so impenetrable is just sort of like technology and time and I really liked it. Part two of age is t-shirts, sort of, and children. Being at a camp that I'm still working at, I wore a t-shirt from that camp because I was a camper there from 2005. So as we were waiting for something else, we were playing a game like a who knows how old Elizabeth's shirt is, thinking that it's just through 2013 minus 2005. And the math was a little hard from them. They're five. It's okay. You learn subtraction in first grade, I guess. And then we were going, so what year are you born? And everyone was like, 2007. And like to them, they're old. And to us, that's nothing. This shirt's from my mom. This shirt's older than me. And it's like six times older than them, but they think they're really old. And then I was thinking about how they grow up with things that we think are still new and cool being just the way it is, like an iPod. Okay, so maybe this is a little bit of an I miss the 90s, but not really. But it's just like their coloring books might be different because things are different and they're just young and they're adorable. And I find myself using excuses all the time like, because I'm a grown up or because I'm over five feet tall, which aren't excuses and I'm not a grown up, I'm legally adult, but I'm not a grown up, I refuse that one. Part three would be I'm home, this is my bedroom, and I have a tripod, which means these won't look as precarious and potentially they could be in more interesting places, although I quite like the lighting right here. Bye! It's raining, isn't it pretty? It might stop being so hot.